Can you sort of fill us in on the latest, what, what's going on? Sure. Uh, well, to recap a little, as you know, Michael Charles Burham, 34 years of age, was in the Warren County Jail on a $1 million bail for kidnapping, burglary, and related charges. During the late hours of Thursday, July 6th, Burham escaped from the Warren County Jail. The escape is being investigated by the Warren uh, City Police Department, but uh, what I would say is that he was last seen wearing a denim jacket, an orange striped jumpsuit, and Crocs. We expect that by now he likely has changed clothing. Uh, we describe Burham as a self-taught survivalist with military reserve experience. We believe he has previously prepared to conceal himself in the woods. Um, in the past 24 hours or so since the last press conference that we did, there were a few updates that we want to report. We've searched numerous residences, abandoned structures, and vast wooded areas, uh, all driven by tips or investigative decisions. We've located small stockpiles or campsites in wooded areas in the general vicinity of Warren, and we believe that at least some of these may be associated with Burham. We have no reason to believe that Burham has left the general area. With that said, We've received several tips or investigative leads from outside of the area, and we are thoroughly investigating each and every one of those. None of them, though, at this point, has caused us to change our assessment that he remains in this area, but we're constantly reevaluating that position. We're asking that people, not only in this area, but nationwide, familiarize themselves with the picture of Burham, and please contact us if they believe they may have seen him. It's also always an option to contact 911. We consider uh, Burham to be armed and dangerous and ask people not to approach him. And anyone with information is asked to contact Pennsylvania State Police Warren Station at 814-728-3600, or as I said a minute ago, 911, uh, if they need an immediate response. The U.S. Marshals have issued a $7,500 reward, and the Warren County Crime Stoppers have issued a $2,000 reward for information leading to his apprehension. I would stress that this remains a very fluid and active investigation which is being conducted in conjunction with more than a dozen of our federal, state, and local law enforcement partners. Uh, the state police, along with all of those partners, are utilizing all appropriate resources and we're absolutely committed to the safety of the people here in the Warren County area and beyond uh, as we work to uh, capture Burham. And again, anyone with information or concerns is asked to contact State Police Warren at 814-728-3600 or call 911. Sure. So a couple questions for you. So first one, uh, this is, I guess, the second time really that we've seen a wanted poster out for, for Michael Burham, once in South Carolina, a couple days even in Pennsylvania, right? Now we're seeing it again. What is it about Burham that makes him so skilled at being able to evade law enforcement? I don't know if it's skilled uh, or, you know, as far as the, well, the escape to begin with, um, uh, it, 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 there was an opportunity there that apparently presented itself. And that's part of another investigation, and the uh, authorities there will look at uh, weaknesses and things and ways to correct that. In terms of his evading law enforcement, uh, I don't, uh, I mean, he's certainly had that, you know, some survivalist training or self-taught survival training and has some military reserve training, so some basic training in the Army and that kind of thing. But, uh, but in terms, I would also just remind you that in terms of uh, his ability to evade law enforcement, this is a very large area, a lot of very difficult terrain, uh, a lot of cabins, uh, oil and gas uh, structures, you know, sheds, shacks, those kinds of things, a lot of places that somebody can hide. And, uh, and we do have some concern that he may be receiving some assistance from one or more individuals as well. So all of that combined makes it a challenge to find him. With that said, I'm confident we will find him uh, and he'll be eventually brought back and, uh, and face the criminal justice system. What makes you think that he's receiving assistance? Uh, there are some uh, investigative uh, leads that have led us to believe that and, and we'll pursue those. I don't really want to talk specifically about them, but what I would tell you is that uh, we will not only follow them up in order to assist with his capture, but we will also uh, be looking to prosecute anyone that has assisted him in any way. Sure. As far as the woods go, right, this area of the woods, are you able to specify where exactly in the woods you guys are, what woods you're referring to? Um, I would just tell you that um, we've expanded the search over time. Obviously, it started at the very beginning, and the city of Warren has expanded out. And, and again, it's all driven by whether it's tips or investigative leads or things that we find out there that, that lead us to expand it. Uh, I, I don't really want to give a firm perimeter um, and, because, again, uh, uh, you never know what the next piece of information is, and, uh, and, it, and we just further expand as we need to uh, to check that out.
Do you anticipate that there will be a point where, you know, he just can't run anymore? I mean, I'd imagine it's very hard to live out there. I expect there will be a point where we capture him for whatever reason, uh, whether it's because he can't run anymore or because someone spots him or because uh, uh, the investigative techniques that we're using allow us to uh, focus in on exactly where he is and, and capture him. But one way or another, he'll be caught. Um, could you speak a little bit more to how exactly he escaped from prison? Was there any reason why he was left unmonitored and, and able to escape? Uh, again, that's not part of our investigation. Warren City Police are handling the, handling the escape. What I would tell you is that, um, you know, locally they've asked me uh, if, if the question came up to emphasize that the city police really don't have anything to do with the operation. So they're doing uh, an independent investigation uh, of the escape from the jail. But the other part of that is, uh, you know, questions have come up. Uh, about why he was out in the yard so late at night and that kind of thing. And the explanation that's been provided to me is that uh, each one of the inmates is required to have a certain amount of outside exercise, yard time every day. And there are limitations at that, at that jail. Um, space limitations that uh, mean they can only allow a certain number of inmates out at any given time, staffing limitations, all of those kinds of things that come into play. And so they have a, basically a rotation set up that starts very early in the morning and runs till late at night to allow them to uh, uh, get everyone the time that, uh, that they're supposed to have out there. That's the explanation that's been provided to me. But, but again, anything beyond that, uh, Warren City would be looking into. What's your message to residents tonight in this area who may be fearful of a murderer being out on the loose in their backyard? Well, more than anything, we ask them to be vigilant. We ask them to take uh, reasonable precautions, make sure that their doors and windows are locked, make sure that vehicles are locked, don't leave keys in a car, uh, don't leave things out where he could easily um, uh, supply himself with uh, you know, food, clothing, uh, or a car. Um, and, 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 and for that matter, even a weapon. So, uh, you know, again, we just ask them to take common sense uh, approach to this whole thing, but, uh, and be vigilant and contact us if there is anything that they see that's suspicious. Is there, I mean, I'd imagine they're, they're pretty scared, right? Have you heard from any residents about this? Or are they concerned? Uh, you know, we certainly interact with residents as, uh, you know, as, as we are out in the communities and, uh, uh, and searching areas, um, I would say there's a whole, range of uh, emotion out there. Certainly there are some residents who are very concerned, others uh, not quite as much, but, uh, but I want to assure all of them do we're doing everything we can and our partners are as well, try and keep them safe and bring this to a resolution as quickly as possible. JT, no, thank, thank you very much. Anything they left out, anything you want to add? No, I, th I think we've covered it, but thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Can I just get like a few shots real quick? Yeah, so. yeah, of course, that'd be great. It's here since this, this happened. Um, you know, um, again, we're putting uh, all of our resources and every, uh, every effort we possibly can. So there are a lot of people working some long hours here and the resources just in, uh, keep increasing almost by the hour. You know, agencies that already had a presence here are bringing in even more people, cycling through some fresh people, but adding to the numbers on a regular basis as, uh, as the that, uh, but is there, I guess, why is it exactly do you feel that you're certain he's still here? He hasn't been able to escape further past this region? Um, again, I go back to uh, the various uh, uh, investigative leads and uh, pieces of information we've developed over time. I think he certainly will want to leave this area. It's a matter of whether he's had the opportunity or not yet. And that's why when I said earlier that we're always reassessing that, uh, even if he hasn't left now, it doesn't mean that he's not leaving an hour from now, that he didn't find a set of keys in a car or he didn't carjack or kidnap someone as he did when he went to South Carolina previously. So, you know, those are all concerns for us. And again, that's where my advice to residents goes back about remaining vigilant and, you know, just really kind of knowing what's going on around you and keep things secured.